Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. I do apologise about the lighting. Um, today I am heading off for a one day trip in knots. Um, basically I just, I have a week off this week from work and I really just want to try and like explore places a little bit more. So Nottingham, Nottingham has been on my list for a while, just not had the chance to go. And today I am going. Um, obviously, Nottingham is just another city uh, close close to Manchester. So um, that's why I'm going. And then tomorrow I'm going to go to Chester. Um, I have been to Chester before, but not like Chester Town Centre. Uh, like Cheshire Oaks is in Chester, isn't it? I don't know. And I've been to Chester Zoo. So I went um where did it go i went to manchester yesterday uh it's currently tuesday i went to manchester yesterday um because i got a new job and basically i am going to be working in one of the big office buildings in manchester um but i have to i'm gonna get the train to work instead of driving because of rush hour traffic the train will just be a lot easier so i kind of just did a test run yesterday of the train um i'm a motherfucking train girl now my outfit this is what i am wearing it's literally just the most basicest basicest outfit ever uh but it's just this black top which um kind of sits off the shoulder it doesn't have to sit off the shoulder but i kind of pull it off the shoulder then i'm wearing my um burton's long line like cargo style skirt uh, which I also got from the charity shop. Oh, by the way, this top is from H&M. Uh, I got it ages ago. And then I'm wearing my feelers. And then I'm wearing this fake... It's not even Burberry, but, you know, like that Burberry print. Um, So it's not fake Burberry. Is it fake? Is it classed as fake Burberry? It's the Burberry print, but, like... I don't know, because, like, there's no actual, you know, like, thing to be like, it's Burberry. Hi, so basically the footage from Knots is just me chatting shit. Um, I actually have no footage of me actually in Knots, it's just all in my car. So I thought I would just dim it down right now for you guys. Basically, I went to Knots, all the charity shops were shit. Um, that's the main reason I went. So then I come home and didn't really spend much time in Knots. Uh, I did walk around a little bit, but I bet I like I literally filmed nothing in Knots. So basically, the next clip you're going to be seeing is the day after uh, and I'm not going to Chester I'm going to Clitheroe um which I think I explained but I just wanted to come on here and say not your charity shops are rubbish not you're very beautiful but your charity shops are rubbish this is for Flossy Clegg and Flossy Clegg only how the fuck do you remove waterproof mascara please <laughs> oh my god I bought waterproof mascara and that tried it for the first time yesterday because oh my god miss flossie's eyelashes always look so good she uses waterproof mascara i bought i've known this for a while but i only bought it the other day when my sister was like i was like why do people go through the effort of wearing waterproof mascara and i've been thinking about getting waterproof mascara for a while because my eyes water like mad anyway i bought some how the fuck do you get it off i'm off for a week but like this year's just been weird with booking time off work because obviously like people like I had to book time off work but I have nothing to book time off work for do you get what I mean and it was kind of like pushing for time because I actually leave the job I'm in currently um next next week is like my last week and then I start my new job on the 6th of December which is super exciting um trying to take time off was kind of like a push for time so i've ended up taking a week off now and then my last week is next week and then whatever um so i have nothing to do other than just like gaff about the uk basically in my my little ford fiesta um so yesterday obviously i went to nottingham it was a massive fail um nottingham's a really nice place i think i mentioned that um, like the buildings are all really really cute. It was extremely busy though. I do have to say it was quite busy um, But today I'm actually heading over to a place called Clitheroe My grandparents have just got back from there and said that there are quite a few charity shops there uh, So I googled it 
and they are correct well obviously they're correct they've literally just got back from it but um there are like seven so i'm gonna go down there it is an hour an hour away from me um so i'm gonna get ready and i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to clitheroe yeah okay so it's now literally 10 o'clock like past 10 o'clock said i was gonna set off at nine didn't set off at nine setting off now this is my outfit a bit casual today um cargos red top this jacket i got i mean everything i got from the track shop except from obviously the blanciagas and joey's h&m and i think i might do i take my scarf with me or not is the question i'll try it on and then see i've just arrived in clitheroe it's like the cutest little town so i'm just gonna get my bearings google sorry the sunlight is like right there i'm gonna google where everything is it kind of looks like it's all like kind of just a little town and around and about and then if i feel comfortable i'll whip my camera out and start filming whilst i'm out and try and get some clips of like the charity shops and stuff fingers crossed they're good but let's go off the bat it's quite expensive but i found this coat It's um, $6.99, I think I'm going to get it, but this is Oxfam, so quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Wait, I found this really cute. This is really cute. Honestly, I'm just working further and further away from the centre, <laughs> but I'm trying to find the last charity shop, but I just found the Salvation Army and I got loads of stuff, so... In fact, I think I'm back at the car park. No, I can't be back at the car park. Surely not, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna find this last charity shop and then go. I'm currently trying to film, because I got a prep. A really good prep. Wait, it's not prep, oh my God. It's Cafe Nero. I'm so dumb. But there is a weird old man staring at me right now. And I don't wanna pull my camera out. And about, and more people have just come as well, so. So instead of pulling my camera out, I'm sat here, talking. So basically everyone just thinks I'm talking to myself. What would people find more weird? The fact that I'm talking to myself or the fact that I'm talking to a camera? I don't know. This is um, Cafe Nero, I got I'll show you what I got in a minute, but this is going to be gone. So I got a vegan sausage roll. It's like pastry, but I'm pretty sure that it is sweet potato. Apparently this time of day, this car pack is thriving. So I'll catch up with you when I'm on the road. Instead of now looking like a weirdo talking to myself. Okay, so we're back on the road right now. I did, and oh, you're not even going to be able to see me, but I did get a hazelnut latte from cafe nero but like the woman was just like not asking you know like she was just like because that's for toffee nut because i'm pretty sure that is on cafe nero's like um christmas menu anyway i asked her a toffee nut she was like we don't do that and i was just like oh i thought that is literally like maybe maybe that they only do it at starbucks maybe i've got that wrong but she just looked at me as if to be like what the hell and then normally i get it with like almond like i just drink coffee in general with almond milk like i'm not vegetarian I'm not even a vegan even though i've just had a vegan sausage but uh, like i went to ask for almond milk and she was gone she the woman was like she was gone so i mean it's not the end of the world because i do drink normal milk but like i don't know almond milk just slaps a lot harder um what was i gonna say i've had a really really successful day um if you're planning on coming to clitheroe for some reason i don't I, i've never heard of it before yeah other than obviously my grandparents come for their holidays here uh like you know like just a little break it's a very cute little town i really really enjoyed my day here today um 
sorry i'm at the roundabout so i'm kind of like also if my camera goes flying i do apologize but yeah uh, i only know about this because my grandma and granddad come on holiday here like as a little week away in the uk and um, they don't like traveling too far so because they're always kind of perfect for them um and then so i come here it's a 50 minute drive um, depending on traffic it was 56 minutes here and i think it's 53 minutes home um which isn't bad at all so yeah the moral of the story is if you do plan on coming to cliverall the charity shops are really good some of them are a little bit pricey but i think that's the same with like any any town really like even in my local town like the oxfam there for some reason decided that it was going to be like oh the camera nearly went then <laughs> the oxfam near me decides that it's going to like charge three times what everyone else charges which i find so strange but yeah the the ymta there ymca is one of my favorite charity shops because the two that are near me are always really really good and one of them that's near me is everything is a pound which i'm actually going to go to later on this week um just because everything's a pound why not um but this one that had like sale racks which was everything a pound then the rest kind of varied from like three pound to two pound um and then what oh the salvation army was the best one they got loads of stuff there they also had a sale rack on which was everything was she was just like it's not actually 50p but i'll just give it you for 50p because i can't be asked faffing trying to figure out how much everything is because she was just like oh i have to go through and like double check how much everything is she was like i can't be asked so i got everything for 50p which was really good um but I'm gonna do a whole separate video on like what I got just because I got quite a lot of stuff and um, I wanna show it you all kind of thing. So yeah, I might show you a couple little bits in this haul, but maybe not because if I'm doing a whole video. But anyway, yeah, it's been a really, really lovely day, but everything in Clitheroe is uphill. Take that in mind, everything is uphill. I have never sweated so much in my entire life, but to be fair i haven't been going to the gym this week because it's my week off and i've been kind of like just like going with the flow doing a bunch of stuff um so i guess i got my steps in why is this what i'm listening to i can handle it hold up i can handle it Oh my god i thought you were gonna fall then okay so i've just arrived back home and if you can see behind me the damage the damage was done the damage was done in clitheroe the damage was done <laughs> so i have this big old bag of stuff and then i have this big old bag of stuff too a little sneak preview honestly this is not anything exciting there are some exciting things in here though which i'm so excited about oh my god yeah. chill and i will probably pick up the camera either tomorrow or friday uh i'm not really too sure about tomorrow because i don't actually know what i am doing other than maybe nip into the one pound charity shop in my local town uh just because like i said i am meeting my cousin in the morning and then i've got like a free afternoon and then i'm seeing callum in the afternoon uh well i've got a, i'm seeing callum in the evening like he finishes work at five and then i go and see him so i've got like a free afternoon so i might go there but i i definitely won't vlog because it is yeah I will vlog, I know that, so I will catch you up if I do anything exciting, but it might be Friday, even though I don't even know what I'm doing Friday, but I'll probably just vlog out, like, around the house or anything like that. I just vlog when I want to vlog, but for now, tonight, I'm going to go. I might be back to show you that I'm doing a bloody face mask, you never know, but for now, goodbye. I do look really weird today and I don't, I can't, I can't figure out what it is. Maybe it's how much blush I put on this morning, or maybe maybe I just look funny today. Who knows? Oh my god, I thought this was gonna be like a really good place to put you. Yeah, it's not that bad actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> so today is Friday. I think this is gonna be maybe the last day I vlog, just because I feel like 
I'm gonna get this up for the weekend to have something to post on the weekend but today I am just going to well I'm just gonna like nip into my local town to have a look through the charity shops just because I've just gone through what I have actually got for work and I start next week and I actually haven't got that many like blouses so I need to go and really find some blouses um and like some more pants and definitely some skirts like i still don't have any skirts which is really bad um what else i also need a long coat uh, like you know like one of them smart coats i need one of them so hopefully i can find one for reasonably cheap in my local charity shops because i've seen a few but they've all been like quite expensive um and i don't have the money to buy that yet kind of thing on this part-time job i get like £400 a month and it just it ain't cutting it but obviously in my new job I'm working full time so I'm getting a lot more money which is amazing but uh, I'm gonna go and see if I can find that and I'm also gonna go to the hair extension place in my local town and I want to see if they have any bundles of hair because I keep seeing everyone doing those you know those plaid ponytails and stuff and obviously Lullabells do one and it's like mega long and then also Beauty Works do one like where you like braid the hair in and then I thought that that's what um like everyone was using and then I watched Colleen Diaz is vlog and she doesn't she uses bundles of hair and just plaits it in you know like when you go to a festival and you can get your hair done like plaits um with like coloured hair she basically uses that but like in the colour of her hair whether I'm going to be able to get blonde we will see but I'm just going to go in anyway see what kind of prices they are because I think with it being fake hair it should be reasonably cheap but we will see I actually have something really exciting happening next week now uh, it only has just come about in literally whilst I've been filming this vlog uh, but I am actually heading down to London for something really really exciting um, and it's going to be like my first my first I don't even know what to call it but like it's obviously it's to do linked with like my TikTok so I'm so excited to work with these group of people uh which you will see because I am gonna vlog it and I will mention it in the vlog but I'm so excited but I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna jinx it or anything by saying too much because nothing is booked here but I'm going. I'm saying I'm going and I'm going. So yeah, but I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna go and I will catch up with you when I'm- Oh, the music is still very much on. Okay, so obviously me being the indecisive bitch that I am, I decided to lay in bed all day and then leave it till seven o'clock at night to decide I wanted to come to Trust Centre to, the light is going off, but to um, get some underwear for next week. Cause I apparently, no, actually I knew this already. I don't own nude underwear and for the thing I'm doing I need nude underwear so I'm at Travel Centre heading into Primark H&M to try and find myself some nude underwear mine have a look around whilst I'm here whilst I'm here did that make sense I don't know but yeah I thought I would just update you that I'm at Travel Centre at, and it's dark and it's still it's actually still quite busy it is a Friday though, so I feel like people come out for meals and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go in now. Guess where I am? You guessed it right. A Starbucks. Cheers to the first toffee nut latte of the season because they only come out at Christmas time. And this is burning my fingers, so I'm now gonna put it down. But cheers to that. And also, cheers to me getting a chocolate brownie Christmas tree because they only come out at Christmas even though I'm pretty sure they do do like an alternative do you get what I mean like they do just do brownies I do not know anyway I'm gonna turn my music up now surprise me with what song I'm gonna be listening to Things that you and I did first. 